Hi, I'm Jake Bruton. Welcome back to The Build Show. And today we are at our Spring Valley Aero Project and we're actually standing on the porch roof so that we can talk about this uh, cedar siding and how we're installing it and the reasons that we're doing what we're doing. So let's talk about that now. Okay, so any conversation with siding or involving siding is gonna start for me with how are we managing water. So let's talk about the specific assembly behind this cedar siding. Number one, we have Huber Zip R on this house. So it's a inch of insulation with the Huber Zip board on the outside of it. All the seams are either taped or liquid flashed. Any overdriven fasteners have been addressed with liquid flash or tape. All of our windows have been detailed out. So behind this siding, at the wall, we start with a waterproof assembly. All that, everything from here on out is just protecting that waterproof assembly, either giving it a, uh, the ability to dry or we're trying to keep UV from getting to it. So that's what this is doing. Besides the aesthetic part of, uh, of the house and, and the beauty behind this product, it's keeping the sun from getting to that product and damaging the, the zip or the tape. After that, we're we're talking about longevity and we're still talking about protecting that that cladding or that uh sorry not that cladding that uh substrate and so this product actually has benjamin obdyke's slicker max uh the slicker max is a rain screen in this assembly the slicker max is normally used behind stucco or cementuous type products like stucco or stone the, the benefit of it here, it's a 3D printed matrix that gives us a ventilated and drained cavity. And then they also have a facer on that, that 3D matrix that keeps it from wanting to compress in a funny way. Uh, if we're doing a horizontal siding like you can see in some of these spots, we're okay with just vertical batten strips because we're nailing at the studs anyway. The second you turn the orientation of your cladding vertical, the problem becomes how do we attach that with batten strips and then we're running things at an angle and the the Obdike Slicker Max just it takes care of that it's it resolves that problem for us we don't have to worry about the the product and and how we're gonna have nails showing in funny ways or anything like that so now we're all the way out and we're ready to install our, our cladding so what we are using here is a Western Red Cedar that we got from a local lumberyard Meeks uh, and they were able to help us with this specific product. It's a nickel gap 5 8 by 5 and a half and it's really pretty special. Um, first, it's really aesthetically pleasing because it's a really pretty clean product but it is a vertical grain clear heart which means it is the absolute top pinnacle of what we're going to be able to get out of Western Red Cedar. You can see that it's almost entirely not in grain free. They cut, if you picture the board like this, the grain runs vertically through it. Uh, they slice it in a specific way out of a tree and that gives you the most stable piece that you can possibly have. So we're going to have as little movement as possible from a board standing and then we're gonna have as few grain and knots, and I think that that's just really aesthetically pleasing. Next, uh, because we're doing it uh, with a uh, shiplap, or this nickel gap, rather, uh, we're gonna use a fastener on the surface. And so you're gonna see the nail. It's not like a lap siding where the next piece covers. So we've had to be very particular as to what nails we choose. So we're using a stainless steel fastener that also has a stainless steel clip. So the pieces that hold the nails together don't embed in the wood and then uh, rust over time, causing those, those leech marks that you see sometimes in siding. Or if you've ever seen a fence that was stapled up, that, that product, those staples will, will leach and rust over time. So we've been very particular about what product we've picked here. Next, uh, you can see we have a little bit of a white line that's still showing. We're also taking great care because you can see the fasteners in where we place the fasteners. So we're using a white chalk line because that white will wipe off. So it's not a permanent chalk. If you use a blue or red or a black, you can't chalk that out. We'd have to put little bitty pencil marks all the way across there. We've also taken the time 
to make a spacer board that goes on before you nail. And that board has a recess that the nail gun can push into and a hole for the nail to shoot through. And so these fasteners are not being driven all the way by the nail gun. There's too much inconsistency in the gun, in the nailing substrate, and in the compressor for us to do that. By creating that spacer that holds the gun out, that overdriven fastener is not an issue and we're able to come back and finish each one of those nails by hand. Yes, it's a lot of effort, but this is a really craftsman oriented product. We're not just gonna tack this up like vinyl siding. We're not just gonna nail this up even like the lap siding. There is more care, more attention to detail. This is a showpiece of the house. We don't mind adding some extra effort to make sure that the clients are really happy and that the outcome is really, really pretty. So we've chosen our board specifically for this house. We've chosen how we're gonna mount it. We've chosen the products that are gonna go behind it. All of this is a simple plan that over the course of the entire construction of this home has led to just getting a really pretty pretty siding for the clients. So I want you to make sure that you're considering the assembly before you pick the siding. I want to make sure that you're considering the fasteners if they're gonna be exposed and your installation process because those are the things that lead to the to the final product being uh, an A plus install. So thank you for watching me on The Build Show. I wanna remind you, we have Wade Paquin, Brent Hull, Steve Basic, and the illustrious Matt Reisinger all publishing videos on The Build Show Network every week. I want to make sure that you follow those guys on Instagram and myself on Instagram. It's jake.bruton on Instagram. I really am happy with the product that everybody's putting out. I'm really proud to be involved with this and I can't wait to share more of our projects, more of our assemblies, and more of our business with you on the Build Show Network. So till next time from the Spring Valley Project, check out this siding.